Welcome to this course on uh, introduction to reinforcement learning. In this lecture, uh, we'll uh, first understand what are different uh, paradigms of machine learning, and then uh, we'll specifically go into what is uh, reinforcement. At a high level, there are uh, three types of machine learning algorithms, namely supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Let us understand what uh, each of these paradigms mean at a very high level. In supervised learning, what will be given is thing called labeled training data. And so the data will be of the form x comma y. And our job is to find what is the relation between f and y. That is, we have to understand what is the function that maps h to y. To look at an example, suppose uh, you are looking at the problem of classifying whether a given image is a cat or a dog. We will be given uh, some example uh, images like this, where you can think of each of these images as a data and the label as by one so so here we are given four labeled training data so x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and x4 y4 right so for you can think of these x's as the images and y's as the labels corresponding to these images which tell whether the given image is a cat or a dog so what is the task here? From this uh, training data, we have to come up with a model, we have to design a model which can predict the label of a new image which is not given to us before. So you have to learn from these four images and come up with a model which essentially is trying to find what is this f for any x is not seen before it should be able to predict what is the right uh, label so for example whether this new image is a cat or a dog has to be predicted by this trained model so essentially supervised learning is about uh, learning the model from this uh, labeled training data what is uh, unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning, the main difference compared to supervised learning is here the data that we have is unlabeled. So what do we mean by that? Previously we had data of this form, right? Here we will not have this y, we only have x. And what is the task that we are trying to do here? Unsupervised learning mainly deals with identifying patterns in a given data. So we are just given some data like this and our job is to understand some patterns that are given in this data. For example, clustering is a popular example of unsupervised learning. What is clustering? Clustering is to find some pattern in the given data and group the data into some meaningful groups like this. So this is one way of meaningfully grouping the given data, right? Here all these images represent cats and these represent dogs. So the algorithm might not know exactly the label for each of these images but it will try to group similar images into one cluster. So this is unsupervised. The, the next paradigm which is of interest for us in this course is uh, the reinforcement learning paradigm. Let us understand what is reinforcement learning uh, through this uh, example. Consider a situation where a video game like this is given to a child and there is no one else to teach him how to play this game. Such a situation, how will the child learn to play this game? Typically through trial and error, right? So what do we typically do? The child will see what is the uh, state of the game through the screen. Based on what he sees on the screen, he will press some button in this video game. 
and based on what uh, he does if it's a right button to press in that game maybe the score that you see here will increase if the button that he has pressed is not the right button to press in this situation of the game maybe the score will decrease so if the score has increased then he will realize that uh, this is a good button to press and he will continue uh, playing using that strategy when he encounters similar situations in the however if uh, the score has decreased by pressing that button then he will realize that it is a wrong button to press in this situation and later he will not uh, use the same button for that particular situation so this is roughly what is trail and error learning right so reinforcement learning essentially uh, is a formal way of learning through trail and error so uh, just to uh, recap uh, what we have discussed about trail and error first thing that the child will see is what is the uh, state of the game which can be understood by looking at the display and there is something called action that we have in reinforcement learning so you can think of these buttons as the actions that are uh, allowed in this uh, state of the game and what is the feedback that we'll get for uh, taking some action or pressing some button uh, the program running inside this video game will uh, give you some score right if it's a good action the score would increase and if it's a bad action the score will decrease in addition to that uh, based on the action that you pressed what you see on the screen will also change right for example in this situation of the game if uh, we press the right button this particle will move to the right right and thereby the image on the screen changes that is uh, we will see a new display or the screen gets updated so this is the process that we have right in reinforcement learning we have a similar uh, framework so we have something called environment and agent so you can think of the agent as the child who is playing this game and the state you can think of as the situation of the game which is visible through the screen or the display that you have so you can think of the state as the display and seeing the state of the agent has to decide what is the right action to take you can think of the buttons on the video game as the actions that you have to take and based on the action taken what will the environment which you can think of as the program running inside this video game what will it do it will uh, give you two things the first thing is it will give you some score which is uh, called as a reward in the terminology of reinforcement learning and what else as we have seen once you press some button the image changes right that is the state of the environment will change so what we'll get is a new state so you can think of this framework like this let's say the time is divided into some slots like this and let's say at time t equal to 0 the game begins and let's say s naught is the state of the game that is the screen that you see at time 0 is denoted as s naught then uh, looking at the state of the game the agent will have to take some action let's call it a naught then what will happen then uh, based on uh, whether the action is a good action or a bad action the environment will give you a reward and it will also give you a new image of the nest state right and the nest state is again seen by this agent and he will have to decide what action to take then based on the action taken the environment will give you a new reward and a new state and this process will continue till uh, you reach a special state called a terminal state so what is terminal state for example if you keep playing this game maybe at some point the game will end right so a screen which shows uh, end game you can think of that uh, screen position as the terminal state so you start with some state and you keep taking actions 
and the environment will keep giving you rewards and new states and this process continues till you reach a special state called a terminal state once you reach the terminal state you can think that the game ends the terminology of reinforcement learning you can think that the episode ended so this whole trajectory is called as one episode and when you reach this terminal state you can think that the episode got terminated which is similar to thinking of the game being ended so what is the goal of a reinforcement learning agent here uh, the goal is to understand what is a good action to take in a given state like there could be multiple states right the, like there are different uh, screen images that you'll see during the game right for every situation of the game which is captured by the screen that you see on the video game you have to understand what is the right action to take so you can think of the goal as uh, understanding what is a if you are in some state s what is the right action to take so you can think of it as a mapping from your state space to action space so for every state you should know what is a good action to take so this is also called as a policy a policy is a function which takes in a state as an input and gives you an action to take in that given state so the goal is here to learn a good policy so what do we mean by good policy so you measure the performance of a policy by looking at the total uh, rewards that you got in this whole episode right here you got r1 then you got r2 so this game has ended when you reach the terminal state so you just look at what is the total reward that you got throughout this episode this is what you want to maximize the goal of the reinforcement learning agent is to learn a policy pi which is a mapping from state space to action space such that the total reward that you get in a given episode is maximized so reinforcement learning uh, reinforcement learning is all about understanding what uh, is a good policy such that the total reward that you get in the game is uh, maximized so this is about uh, uh, what is uh, reinforcement learning so just to summarize the different paradigms of machine learning that we have read uh, supervised learning is essentially about uh, function fitting you will be given some labeled uh, training data like this and your job is to find a function f which can take in any uh, new data which is not seen before and uh, predict the right uh, label for that unseen data and unsupervised learning is essentially about finding patterns in a given data for example uh, you will be given uh, some set of images and grouping the images into some meaningful clusters is a example of an unsupervised learning problem and reinforcement learning is about learning through uh, trial and error you have some uh, sequential task where uh, you will be in some state and you, based on what action you take you will go into some new state and this sequence of uh, states keeps continuing till you reach some special state called a terminal state your goal is to uh, learn through trial and error what is a good uh, action to take in every state that you encounter during this uh, sequence and one important thing to notice is here no one is there to tell you that this is the right action to take in a particular state uh, like in a supervised learning someone is telling you right if this is your input this is the right output this is the right label However, no one is telling you that if this is the state, this is the action to take. There is no such training data. All that you have is uh, a feedback in the form of a, either a reward or a penalty. If your uh, action was uh, a good action, then uh, you will get a reward which is uh, high. But if you take a bad action, maybe the reward that you get will be low. You have to learn through this uh, feedback and learn a good policy. Map 
the state space to action space such that the total reward that you get this uh, episode is uh, maximized so this is about uh, different paradigms of uh, machine learning and uh, a brief overview about them thank you